Hello everyone. Yesterday they updated auras and came out with a bunch of new loyalty items, so I was getting a lot of questions about what auras I bought and what I thought people should buy, so I thought I'd make a video talking about the advantages and disadvantages of certain auras, and hopefully I can help you guys choose what you want. So first off, I decided not to include any of the cosmetic auras, so no costumes, none of those eye effects or recolors, none of that stuff. So. I mean, if you get if you want to get that stuff, go for it, but it's not really worth it, so I don't really recommend it. Um, I also didn't include any of the items that are decent, but they have really short active timers and really long cooldown timers. So that's things like Berserker, which has a 10 minute use with a 5 hour cooldown, and Aegis, which I believe has a half hour use with a 5 hour cooldown. Um, so I got rid of those, uh, they just, it's not really worth it with that long of a recharge time. And then I also didn't include most of the skilling auras because it, once you get the level 99 skill, chances are you're never going to use it again. Uh, there are some exceptions to that. The skilling auras that I do think are worthwhile are the Jack of Trades, which is amazing. It's really good. I highly recommend getting that. Um, and then if you do a lot of farming herb runs, then maybe try and get green fingers. That should help. The Wisdom Aura isn't bad, but 40k points is a little bit much to spend on in my to spend on it, in my opinion. Um, but maybe in a few months, once we've got a lot more points, then you could get that. And then the Resourceful Aura isn't bad because it works on pretty much all skills that, like things like woodcutting, mining, um, stuff where you're collecting resources. It, resourceful has a 10% chance of the uh, the spot that you're collecting them from for it not to run out. So that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite worth it, but that's not bad. But besides that, I didn't include any of the specific skilling auras, like the um, the agile one, which makes you not fail in agility courses. Just things that once you get a high level in the skill aren't very useful anyway. Uh, and I also didn't include any tier 4 auras because they each cost way too much to upgrade. They're just not worth the cost. As far as I can tell, none of the tier 4 auras are worth the cost, so don't worry about those. Um, and then getting into the specific auras themselves, first of all, a lot of people get the the uh, Salvation, Corruption, or Harmony auras. Those are the wings that you see everyone wearing, and they aren't really worth it. They give uh, one hour active time with a three hour cooldown and they each give a little bit of bonus prayer experience and then a little bit of prayer point recovery each time you gain 500 prayer experience. The only thing that would actually be worthwhile for them in my opinion is if you're going for high prayer experience and you just buy the tier one aura because the one percent uh, prayer increase 1% increase in prayer experience for 5k loyalty points is a pretty good deal. I think for if you're getting 1 to 99 prayer and you did it with one of these auras, you'd save about a mil, which isn't a whole lot when you're considering that much prayer, but it's not bad. It's It could be worse. So yeah, I don't really recommend buying those. The next two auras are combat auras, runic accuracy and sharpshooter. They only work in PvM combat, so don't expect to have any bonuses in PvP. That being said, they're not too bad. The tier 4 one, which I don't re recommend getting again because it costs way too much, the tier 4 one gives 10% accuracy bonus, um, so that's pretty significant. The one thing that I would get them for is if you, pretty much all you do in RS is free-for-all necks, then having a sharpshooter aura is going to get you a lot more kills. Runic accuracy I don't really think is all that useful. I don't recommend getting it. The next two auras are for prayer saving. It's Reverence and Penance. Again, Reverence has tier 1 to tier 4, and I don't recommend getting the higher tiers because they cost way too much. But it is pretty good for doing things like Slayer, just to save a little bit of prayer. It's not all that significant or noticeable, so it's not really a big deal and I'd probably get penance instead because penance gives you 20% of the whenever you take damage you take 20% of it and you add it onto your prayer you still take the damage but you get 20% of it on your prayer as well and so that's really good for things like bosses where you're getting uh, where you're getting hurt a lot um, it's not so good for slayer because you're really not getting hurt so it doesn't do much 
Um, it's also noticeably amazing with a divine because a divine reduces your prayer and the penance brings it back up. So it's a nice way to balance that out. So between reverence and penance, if you don't do any boss hunting, then go for reverence. But the cost to upgrade tiers isn't really worth it in my opinion, and I just get pen uh, penance because it costs so much less. The next two auras are for special attack recovery. They just came out with this new one yesterday, the Invigorate aura, and it makes it so that when your spec bar restores, instead of restoring 10% every minute, it restores more. So for the tier 1, it restores 12% every minute, and for tier 6, it restores 16% every minute. And so I compared that to the Inspiration Aura, which was the other aura that restores special energy. And what Inspiration does is whenever you do a successful damage splat, it restores your special attack bar by 0.5%. So if you do um, if you do a claw spec, it, it does four damage splats. So you do a 48% of your special attack bar rather than the 50% because it restores 0.5 per hit, per hit splat. So that's quite good. Based on an hour of doing Fight Kiln, you'll get about 3.75 extra full spec bars per hour. And comparing that to the Tier 3 Invigorate, which gives 50% bonus bonus to your spec bar recovery, that's 3 full spec bars per hour. But in terms of the cost for loyalty points, you're much better off using Inspiration. The only time that Inspiration wouldn't be as good as Invigorate is when you're not doing a lot of hit splats. Uh, so if you're doing something like uh, Castle Wars and you're in a small match and you're not constantly attacking people, then yeah, you'd be better off with Invigorate. But in general, Inspiration is better off. And it's also worth noting that Inspiration is amazing if you're using multi-combat spells or multi-combat attacks. If you're doing Ice Barrage and you're attacking nine people at once, you gain 4.5% of your spec bar every time you do a hit. So you can be easily constant. You can uh, constantly use a Staff of Light spec. You just leave your spec on and you uh, keep attacking and using the spec. So that's pretty amazing. Um, also worth noting that the description in the loyalty shop says that Inspiration only restores 0.2% of your spec bar per hit, but it actually restores 0.5%. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but uh, that's the only reason I actually haven't bought it yet. Because if it is a bug and they switch it back down, then the aura is much less useful. Uh, but I, I don't really know if it's a bug or not. At this point, I doubt it is because it's been this been in the game for like, what, six months now? And they haven't changed it. So I wouldn't really worry about that being a bug. The next two auras don't have anything that, to compare them to. They're just on their own. Uh, the Vampirism Aura gives a 5% healing to whatever damage you do, so if you hit a 100 you heal 5 life points. And that's very nice because you can use it with protection prayers on, you don't have to be soul splitting to heal. Uh, you can also use it on normal prayers, which allows you to do Rigor and Augury much more easily because you won't have to worry about soul split. Um, so I highly recommend Vampirism, that's, yeah, that's a really good one. And then the next one, I, I don't have any actual numbers on it, but it's Equilibrium, and what it does is it reduces your max hit by 25% and increases your minimum hit by the same. And this is really useful for things like training, where if you're fighting low-level monsters and you do more damage than their life points are, you don't waste as much extra damage. So say a monster has like 10 life points left and your normal hit would have been a, like a 500, um, you're wasting all of that potential damage that you could have been getting experience for. So with Equilibrium, it uh, I don't really know the best way to explain it, but it wastes less potential damage. So th yeah, that's a really good one for training, uh, especially things like Slayer. If you're planning on a lot of slaying, Equilibrium is a really good one for that. Um, and besides, I don't think there are any other really useful auras. There are a couple minor ones that wouldn't be bad, and you are better off buying them this week than or while the loyalty points are um, on discount. So the things like Poison Purge, you can buy the level 1 Poison Purge. I think it's 1,750 loyalty points, which is pretty much nothing. And you might find a use for it later. It's not an amazing aura, but hey, it's really cheap now, so might as well buy some of the really cheap ones. So 
Uh, the random low level ones that I'm probably going to get while they're discounted are Poison Purge, Knockout, maybe some of the low level scaling ones if I've got any points left over, and then probably the tier 1 wings. I'm not sure which one I'll get yet, but they're all equivalent in terms of what they do. So yeah, one of those. Um, and besides that, what I got was uh, for my loyalty points, the main auras that I've already bought, Vampirism, Penance, and Jack of Trades. Uh, pe vampirism, I didn't have any second thoughts about. It's pretty amazing. Penance, I don't really do enough high-level boss hunting, so it's not quite as nice, but it's still very good. I'll almost definitely get inspiration soon because the spec regeneration is amazing. Um, so yeah, that'll be really nice. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions about auras, post them in the comments. Um, I'll see what I can do to answer them. And yeah, good luck with your auras. I hope they're I hope they're pretty good.